5 tips to pass online class First, practice good time management. Keeping track of assignment and project deadlines is essential when taking online classes. To ensure you allow enough time to complete your assignments, activities, and essays, create a schedule based on the due dates listed by your instructor. Kontrolado mo na ang iyong oras, kaya pag-isipan mo kung kailan ka magtatrabaho at matututo. Next is, ensure you have reliable internet access. Halos lahat ngayon sa online class ay nangangailangan ng internet access. It all done on the web. If you don't have reliable internet access, it can impact your success. Kaya kung alam nyo na sa lugar nyo hirap makakuha ng signal, pigyan nyo ng oras kahit ilang araw lang para pumunta sa isang lugar na malakas o mayroon signal para magawa ninyo ang mga assignments or projects. Next is pay attention to course requirements and scheduling. With online learning, the schedule is totally up to you, which can sometimes be where the problems happens. Create a timeline for your online assessments, projects, activities that includes how far in advance you need to start working on them. Huwag ninyong hintayin na magsabay-sabay lahat ng mga gawain nyo sa lahat ng subject dahil kayo lang ang mahirapan at baka mahuli pa kayo sa pagpasa. Another is treat it like an in-person class. Without the regular meetings of in-person classes, it's easy to fall into bad habits and get behind on your work. To avoid this, treat online classes like in-person classes. Get up at the same time each day, take a shower, get dressed, eat breakfast, and then go to class. It may seem silly but it will make a big difference in your motivation and productivity. Even if the class doesn't meet at a particular time each week, set a time on your calendar when you'll go to class. Have a routine just like you would if you were going to class in person. The last is know your distraction. Without a professor looking over your shoulder or classmates sitting next to you, it's easy to get distracted with social media, your roommates, video games, or other things you'd rather be doing than studying. Do what you can to eliminate or at least minimize these distractions. Having a study space will help, but you can also use apps like Freedom to block digital distraction. Kung nagkakaproblema ka sa pag-focus sa isang takdang aralin, mag-isip ka at maghanap ng ibang paraan para sa sarili mo na makapag-aral ka ng maayos. Set a timer for 25 minutes, work only one task, and then take a short break before repeating the process until your work is done.